This video comprises part four of a four-part series discussing the clinical research study entitled Improving Satisfaction in Intimate Relationships. Discussion. The objective of this quantitative correlational research study was to examine the relationship satisfaction of clients and their partners. A series of Pearson's correlation R tests were conducted in order to test the study's hypotheses. The findings showed a statistically significant negative correlation between client abandonment fear and client and partner relationship satisfaction, meaning that the higher a client's abandonment fear was, the lower the client's and partner's relationship satisfaction was. In other words, the results of this study show that clients with high abandonment fear had lower relationship satisfaction than clients with low abandonment fear and partners of clients with high abandonment fear had lower relationship satisfaction than partners of clients with low abandonment fear. A survey of the participants' demographic characteristics indicated that on average the, part, the participants were found to be female aging from 18 to 84 years old, married, and had been with their significant other for quite some time. The participants consisted of a sample of convenience and met the criteria for the target population. The participation rates met the parametric normal distribution and were reliable and valid for hypothesis testing. The responses from participants were collected, coded, and analyzed through the use of Statistical Package for Social Sciences, SPSS, version 21.0. Although the number of participants in this study is adequate for the analyses that needed to be performed, a larger number of participants could be more helpful in drawing generalizable conclusions for clients and partners in understanding the factors that are correlated with relationship satisfaction of clients and clients' intimate partners. As such, the conclusions made are only applicable to the participants involved in this study. It is recognized that the problems with one particular set of participants may be unique, and the problems identified in this particular context may not necessarily apply to the general population. It is therefore recommended that the study be replicated in three different ways. First, the study ought to be replicated with the same scope, but sampling of participants should occur in a different area of the United States or of the world. Doing so could identify the relationship satisfaction issues unique to the particular area sampled from. Second, the study may be replicated to include a neutral third party who knows both the client and the client's intimate partner within the context of their relationship. This would be done in order to determine whether a third, more neutral party generates the same results as the client and the partner. Third, a case study could be conducted in order to compare and contrast how different therapeutic modalities could reduce abandonment fear and how this reduced abandonment fear impacts the relationship satisfaction of client and partner. In this manner, the effectiveness of different therapeutic modalities in increasing the relationship satisfaction of clients and partners could be studied. In addition, because the existing research focuses on the client's abandonment fear and its correlation with relationship satisfaction, there exists a need to measure the partner's of abandonment fear and the correlation of this variable with relationship satisfaction. Due to the fact that there is a limited amount of research focusing on the determinants of relationship satisfaction of clients and intimate partners, Additional studies could increase the current understanding of relationship satisfaction of clients and partners. Furthermore, in order to increase relationship satisfaction of clients and partners, additional research on which counseling techniques are the most effective in terms of reducing abandonment fear is warranted. In addition, a qualitative study as opposed to a quantitative study, as utilized in this research project, could offer additional insights regarding the factors that correlate with relationship satisfaction. A qualitative study is advised because respondents would not be limited to the options given in a multiple choice survey and thus further valuable results could be gleaned from this type of study. 
an open-ended face-to-face interview, an example of a traditional qualitative measure, could also help respondents explain what factors they believe impact their relationship satisfaction and the relationship satisfaction of their partners. In addition, an open-ended face-to-face interview with experienced mental health professionals could also glean useful findings regarding relationship satisfaction, what factors impact it, and how to increase it. Furthermore, future researchers might conduct research into the correlation between abandonment fear and relationship satisfaction in other settings outside of the intimate relationship. For instance, the correlation between abandonment fear and the relationship satisfaction of people in business relationships, friendships, parent-child relationships, etc. could be studied. Such research could increase the understanding of the correlation between abandonment fear and relationship satisfaction in a multitude of settings. Hopefully such research would lead to an increased awareness of what constitutes a strong positive relationship and also lead to further research into counseling interventions that could improve relationship satisfaction in a multitude of different relationship types. Given this information, future researchers would have better perspective on how managing abandonment fear could lead to increased relationship satisfaction between partners of all kinds. The general problem examined in this quantitative study is the need for information on how abandonment fear impacts the relationship satisfaction of clients and clients' intimate partners. The results of this study determine that the higher a client's abandonment fear, the lower the relationship satisfaction of the client and their partner, and therefore makes a significant contribution to the body of knowledge existing in the field of clinical psychology.